Novak Djokovic showed flashes of brilliance during a testing second round match against John Muner, but he is still searching for the form that saw him become a true challenger to Rafael Nadal at Roland Garros. There were times where the 12 time Grand Slam champion looked back to his very best. There were glimpses of relentless aggressive shot making off both wings as he battled to break down the tireless John Muner 7 6, 7 1, 6 4, 6 4. When at his intense best, Djokovic can beat anyone. Unfortunately, in 2018, he's guilty of drifting out of matches and gifting his opponents opportunities. Against better, more experienced opposition, flashes won't be enough. Though it has to be said, the level was far higher than in a flat first match against Rogerio Dutra Silva. Plenty of credit should go to Muner, who had enjoyed an impressive run even to this early stage. The Spaniard raced through qualifying against Tim Smichek, Felix Ocher Eliasim and Ducky Lee before taking out former finalist David Ferrer in the main draw, fighting back against his compatriot to win in five. A French Open juniors finalist and hitting partner of Rafael Nadal, Muner certainly knows his way around a clay court, although the world number one. Rated his chances of beating Djokovic as practically nil. The 21-year-old played fearless tennis, though, and pushed the 20th seed hard in an engaging three-set encounter. For Djokovic, who showed little emotion during the tie, another Spaniard awaits in round three. 13th seed Roberto Bautista Gut will represent a step up in quality from his early opponents, both of whom have been ranked outside the top 130 in the world. There are signs of major improvement. All that's missing is the finishing touches of consistency and full mental focus during matches. Djokovic has made a habit of starting sets slowly so far at Roland Garros, and it was no different in this one. Muner broke at the first time of asking after some wayward play, but, as is so often the case, the former world no. One hit back immediately with his forehand starting to find its range. Another break for the Serb soon followed, courtesy of a double fault from his opponent, and he was soon 4-1 up, playing some excellent tennis to boot. Djokovic's focus slipped, though, and Muner struck back when the 31-year-old was serving for the set. From 2-5 down, the Mallorcan suddenly leveled at 5-5, but after forcing a breaker, Djokovic came to life. The Serb stormed to a 7-1 lead before breaking to love for 2-1 in the second. Expecting Djokovic to storm on and win with ease, Muner suddenly began playing his best tennis of the match. Despite Muner's best efforts, it was Djokovic who found the breakthrough again, raising the intensity to lead 5-4. The youngster was unfazed by falling two sets behind, and the pair continued to enjoy some fine exchanges. Though the 2016 champion had been largely the flatter of the two, he allowed a rare smile to beam across his face, and he g'd up the crowd after remarkably chasing down a pinpoint Muner drop shot to hold for 72. After more grinding, the final decisive break came. And Djokovic advanced to set up another tense encounter with a Spanish clay court specialist, 